Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and my space. For those of you who are new, my name is Raquel. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for clicking back on another one of my videos. I know it's been a while since I've done a tarot video on this channel. Um, do excuse the lighting. I am in the midst of trying to set up a good place to record these videos. And um, that's why I haven't set up the lighting yet. But with that all being said, we have come off of a month that has, we had Lionsgate, which was all about manifestation. We had the Leo new moon, which is, was all about setting intentions for your manifestations. Um, so we're going to see what's, what this week is going to um, hold for each zodiac sign. So these are the most needed messages for your step, for your sign for the week of August 24th through the 30th. All the timestamps will be below. We're going to start with the earth signs since this is Virgo season. So I'm going to give a general, um, I'm going to pull a card for a general message for all of you earth signs. And then I'm going to go into each sign individually. And um, like I said, the timestamps up below, but you should watch the intro to it. Okay. All right. So let's see what's up with the beautiful earth signs with my earth sign people. All the lovely earth signs out there, the Capricorns, the Virgos, the Tauruses. Ha. Huh. Okay. So this week there's going to be a chance meeting or a meeting of the minds. For some of you out there, this could be you and another person having um, an intelligent conversation, coming to terms with um, certain plans or certain issues that you might have had. And I'm seeing a meeting of the minds. So it's, like, it's, it's not like a meeting of like a chance meeting or you just stumble upon somebody in a love situation. I feel like this is more of a meeting of the minds. You finally resolving issues. You finally coming together to work through conflicts. This also could be a chance meeting of somebody coming in to help you to resolve a conflict. But that's what I'm getting for you, Earth signs. And I find it, you know, this this time is Virgo season. So you've got that Earth energy going. You're very grounded, um, which means you can be more open. And it is a time to work through whatever issues you might have. Um, I do see for a lot of you, it has something to do with working through some sort of conflict or some sort of issue that you have had in the past. And now you guys are on the same page. You have now resolved the issue. You're, you're of the same mind on the subject. All right. So that is the main message for you earth signs. Now we're going to go into the individual signs part. And what I'm going to do is for Virgo, I'm going to pull you, um, I'm going to pull you four cards. The first card that I'm going to pull is going to be from the bottom of the deck. And that's going to tell me what is going on in your physical world. And then the next three will be mind, body, and soul. That'll be from the top of the deck. So let's see what's up for my beautiful Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of the 24th through the 30th. Spirit, what is up with the Virgos? What do they need to know about this meeting? Virgos. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, this is what's going on in your physical world. Sorry. We've got three of pentacles, and that is the perfect card to get with this chance meeting. So you're definitely working on something here, working on building something, working on accomplishing something. Um, there might be a chance. Um, there might actually be somebody new coming in to help you build something that you have been trying very, very hard. Um, you've been 
working on very, very hard, something in the physical aspect of things. So there is definitely um, a gather, I, I'm seeing like a gathering of, of friends or a group gathering, something that um, you guys are working on a project or you're working to get somewhere, you're of the meeting of the minds on this project. In your mind, we have the Ace of Wands. So when the Ace of Wands comes up in the mind's position, what I'm get, what I'm picking up with this is, is you're going to be getting a lot of spiritual downloads. A new passion is arising here. A new passion in your mind. Um, something that you didn't think of before. Maybe you're trying something new that you didn't know that you would actually like. And it's like you're coming together with people and they're helping you through this. They're helping you figure it out. Um, and they're helping you build on something. So in your body, we've got the empress. So you're definitely feeling within your element. And you know, this is your birthday week for, or your birthday season, Virgo. This is Virgo season. So happy birthday to all you Virgos out there. But you're definitely feeling in your element. And you're definitely taking care of yourself. You're taking care of those around you. Um, and it could be that there are other people out there that are helping lend to your own physical health and your own physical well-being. And then in your soul, we've got the world. So definitely a lot of opportunities opening up for you, Virgo. You're definitely got a new passion about something. And this something is going to help you um, within your next chapter. You're going on into a new next chapter. You feel figurated and um, happy about it. So definitely a lot coming for you this week. Definitely a lot of collaboration with um, friends and especially towards this new passion, this new thing that you're happy about. So I'm going to pull a message of advice, what this is about for you, Virgo. Messages for a rabbit, service to the animal world. So with this, it's definitely about getting out in nature. Um, this is about getting back to your animalistic roots, getting back to your passions, getting back to what it is that drives you. This is also could be that there might be an animal that's very, very significant in your life right now. Um, for some of you, it could be an animal coming in, a chance meeting with an animal. But um, what I feel like this um, advice is, is it's saying get back into nature. Don't get so wrapped up in your head about things. You know, with the Ace of Wands, with this being in your mental body, this is like a clearing, a new clearing of your mind, okay? This is you actually putting forth your, pa you know, getting your new passions, really going for them, all right? Through the help of others, okay, Virgo? Well, that's all I'm picking up for you. If this resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. Drop a comment. I want to know what this new passion is of yours, and I want to know if this, um, how this energy plays out for you this week. Happy birthday to all you Virgos out there, and I will see you in next week's video. Until then, bye Virgo. Hi Taurus. So this will be for your week of the 24th through the 30th of August. And we're going, sorry, shuffling the wrong thing. We are going to peer in to what's going on in your physical reality, what's going on in your mental body, what's going on in your physical body, and then what's going on in your spiritual body. So let's see what's going on for you for this week for my Turanians, my Taurus is out there. I just love you guys. I really connect with Taurus. I love Taurus. All right. So let's see. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more shuffle, and then I'll cut for you, Taurus. All right, so what's going on in your physical body or in your, 
what's going on around you is a younger water sign. So this could be, um, you know, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, somebody who has that in their chart. But this is definitely somebody who's a little um, on the mature, immature side. So it could be a child, it could be a teenager, or it could be a child, an adult that acts childlike. Um, but definitely there's somebody, there's something coming in for you that's going to make you emotionally happy. That's what that card is saying. And with the meeting of the minds, so you're going to be talking to probably a water sign um, or they have water in their chart or the water aspect in your chart, whatever this is. This reminds me of um, cancer. So wherever cancer falls in your chart, I would definitely take a look at it because that's what's going on in your physical world. So there's going to be some type of chance meeting with this person, um, them offering you something, something um, like a gift or um, a gift or a prize. I heard prize. So you might be, some of you out there might be winning a prize this week at some point. In your mental body, we have the Ten of Swords. So this is what you're leaving behind. I feel like you're coming out of, um, you're coming, you're coming to that clarity. You're getting rid of whatever it has that has had you up. So has kept you up at night, has gotten, has given you some mental anguish here. You're getting rid of that. Tens always talk about moving forward, progress, right? And you're coming out of a space where you're very, you were very up in your head about things. Um, and I feel like you're letting your emotions out more now towards the people that are around you. And with this meeting here, this could be that you are meeting with somebody that you truly do have feelings for. Maybe you haven't really treated them the best. This could be somebody that you share a home with. This could be somebody that, um, whatever the case may be here, I'm really getting like this. I've won the prize or I can finally let that go. There is something that's coming in for you. That's going to help you out emotionally. And it's going to help you get rid of this mental anguish that you have. All right. And it's, it's going to be a meeting with somebody. Yeah, see, because right here in your physical body, we have the Knight of Swords. So sometimes when we have a lot of stress and anxiety going on in our head and our mental space, um, it can affect our body and what's going on in our body. So there could be a lot of pains, um, maybe a lot of migraines, getting a lot of migraines this um, week, um, or you have been suffering from a lot of migraines. But I do feel like whatever this is that's coming into your physical reality is coming to wash that away. It's kind of like they're, go they're going to help you see your way out of it. And in your soul, we've got the King of Wands. Yeah, this is what you turn out to be, okay? The King of Wands, the confident, the passionate, the ambitious. So whatever mental blockages you have been having that has held you back and kept you from going forward with what you want to do and what you want to accomplish, it looks like there's going to be something that comes into your physical reality that gives you that emotional and mental stability in order for you to have the confidence to move forward, to move on with your goal. And I do see that it comes in the form of somebody giving you something. This is somebody that maybe is giving you a lot of emotional support at this time and is going to help you out of that mental, that mental anxiety or that mental pain that you have been in for so long. So let's see what advice, what last messages they have for you, Taurus, for this week. I wonder what will happen next. Yeah, and see, this is in the reverse. Okay, when it's in the upright, it says, ready to adventure, precipice, precipice of change, pause before action. But when it's like this, it's saying that no, now you're ready to go. Your head is clear. You're not up in that anxiety, um, 
in that anxiety anymore. You don't have this going on in your body and in your mind anymore. You're having that cleared this week so that you can move on. You're not going to wonder what happens next because this person that's coming in to offer you this emotional support is really going to help you through that. And it's like you are going to gain confidence from that. The King of Wands doesn't worry about what happens next. The King of Wands just does. Okay, he just does what he, he does what he feels he needs to. And I feel like that's what you're going to do with the support of this person. Okay, well, that's all I have for you, Taurus. If this um, resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, however this energy plays out for you, please let me know in the comment section below. Please give this a like, a subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, but you like the way I read. Um, I'm here for you every Monday. I hope you all have a very great week, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye, Taurus. Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Um, I'm going to just get right into it and I'm going to say that if you haven't watched the intro to the Earth uh, Signs video, you need to go check that out because there's another message there, a general message for all Earth Signs. Um, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to do the bottom card of this deck will be what's going on in your reality and um, then I'm going to pull one for mind, one for body, and one for soul. So, let's see what's going on with my Capricorns for August 24th through the 30th, 2020. All my Capricorns out there. I'm a Capricorn moon, so, <laughs> Capricorn moon, so I am just as curious as you are. Let's see what comes up. And please, if, if, if something doesn't resonate with you, then go check out your other signs in this video because that might resonate with you. This is just general, so you got to take it however this applies to you. All right. So, let's see. What do we got for you, Capricorn? Ooh, we got the four of wands. So, this right here talks all about your stability. This talks about your home. This talks about your family. So you're going to be very home and family oriented this week. Um, that is what is, what is going on in your physical, like or in your reality. So you're very focused on family. You're very focused on your significant other, maybe your children. Um, but there is going to be some meeting of some sorts. And I feel like this might be the meeting of the minds with your spouse or with your children. So definitely working through things, really working through your arguments. Um, and I do feel like um, you're probably going to be more of a homebody this week, Capricorn. We've got the seven of pentacles in your mental body. So what you're really looking at right now, what you're really grasping, Capricorn, is what's going on around you. How are the people in your family treating you? How is your home life and your home structure um, really panning out? Where, where do we need to make some cuts? Where do we need to make some renovations? Where do we need to... Um, you know, what, what situations do we have to address? And this could also mean family meetings. This could also mean like dad comes home, calls a family meeting, mom comes home, calls a family meeting, something about, you know, um, getting on the same, um, mental level as <laughs> having everybody on the same page that's within the home is what I'm feeling for you. We've got seven of swords going on in your physical body. So you might want to check out, um, you might have a little bit of migraine or a little bit of pain. There might be something going on up inside your, um, your head. Uh, but with this, you know, as it relates to the physical body, I'm thinking of your mental health. So there could be something that you're denying yourself where it comes to mental health wise. So just be on the lookout for that. Okay. This is two sevens. Two sevens is very spiritual. So you're right. You're getting right mind and body right here is mind and body. It's kind of funny that they're in opposite positions um, because this is the, the, 
This came out in the mind position. This came out in the body position. So for some of you, I feel like your mind and your body are, you're trying to get that on the same page this week. And then we've got the page of swords. I say page and then we get the page of swords. So yeah, definitely finding some clarity in what's going on in your own mental and physical body, as well as what's going on around the home. You are going to be getting everybody in on the same page. I feel like you guys are going to have a meeting of the minds. It's time to really evaluate how things run in the home, how things are going on in the home. And I feel like that's what what you're go that's going to be the space that you're in and that's probably going to help you out in the long run. I do see uh, I do see maybe arguments towards the beginning of the week, but as it rolls towards the end of the week, I I I see a lot of happiness and structure. All right. Then we got, it's always time for tea time, but it's in the reverse. So when it's like this, it, it says that you're procrastinating. You're in that, that energy of procrastination. But when it's like this, it's saying, dude, you're, you're getting stuff done. You're kicking ass. You're taking names. You're, you're going through lists. You're, you're really, you're really, um, you're really evaluating and paying attention to the things that that have been neglected for a while that need to get done because you were in this energy for a minute, for a hot minute. Now it's time for the Capricorn to go back to work. And that's what you're doing. You're going back to work. You're making yourself more stable. Some of you, this could be a work meeting. Um, and it's like, now you've got the opportunity to move forward. And it's like, okay, now that I've got the opportunity to move forward, um, I've got to get this done, that done, this done, that done, this done, that done for my own stability. All right. <clears throat> to make this thing actually work. For some of you, it could very well be, you know, it could, it could be something within, within your work situation too. This might not only just be you know, your family, I, I am picking up for some of you. This could be a work situation as well. A chance meeting, um, being able to, um, to say, okay, now I understand this is what I need to do in order to make myself more stable and more successful. Well, Capricorn, that's all I'm picking up for you. If this resonates with you in every way, shape, or form, please make sure you give that a thumbs up. Please make sure that you subscribe if you love the if you like the way that I do my readings. And also let me know in the comment section below how these um, energies play out for you this week. I hope you have a lovely week. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, Capricorn. Hi, my beautiful air signs. How are you today? <laughs> All right. So this is going to be a weekly tarot for a look ahead at the week of August the 24th through the 30th for all of you air signs out there. We're going to get the general message first, and then I'm going to go into each of your individual um, individual readings. Timestamps are beautiful. <laughs> okay, so let's see for my air signs. Air for August 24th through the 30th. August 24th through the 30th. Ooh, dreaming, dreaming. Now this is very interesting. Okay, um, I'm a Libra, so I'm an air sign too. But dreams have been very, very, very um, intense for me lately. And I feel like for a lot of you air signs, that's what's going to, to happen. You really, really, really need to pay attention to your dreams with this within this week. There are some type of message there that your, um, that your spirit guides are trying to, to give you or trying to relay. If you do not have aqua marine crystal and you are the type that has a hard time dreaming, I recommend going out and getting either aqua, aqua marine or Laramare and putting it underneath Lermar and putting it underneath your pillow. Also Moonstone would also help with that. Um, but you definitely want 
to pay attention to your dreams, whether you're an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Dreaming is going to be very, it's going to be the subject matter of this week for the air signs. It could also mean your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams, like what you really want to go for. This is the time to really spring on it, is what I'm getting for some of you. And I'm really, that this cat is really standing out to me. Like he is popping out of the picture more so than the man. So with cats, they're very, um, they like their solitude, okay? They like to be loved. They love to be loved, but they like their solitude. And I feel like that's what um, a lot of air signs are like. And I feel like that's why this cat is popping out so much. So you might have, um, you might need to go into solitude to be able to accomplish your dreams at one point during this week, um, going into solitude and getting yourself together. Also, pay attention to your dreams. All right? So now I'm going to go into the individual signs. So you can go to the timestamp below and see yours. All right. So, my beautiful Geminis, this is your weekly reading for August 24th through the 30th. Um, I'm going to switch it up and do a little bit different here. I'm going to pull the bottom card will be what's going on in your physical reality, like what's going on around you. And then I'm going to pull one for your mind, one for your body, and one for your soul, just to tell me where you're at this week. Um, and then I will pull a card for advice. Okay, Gemini? So let's see what's up with the beautiful Geminis, my creative little creatures. <laughs> My creative little Geminis. What's up with the Geminis for August 24th through the 30th? The main message, please. What's in their reality? What's in their mind, body, and soul? Please and thank you. I hate those scam like emails. Okay. You could be, <laughs> watch out for scams. That could be an alarm saying, watch out for scams. Watch out for getting scammed. All right. Don't fall into the scam. I heard. Don't fall into the scam. So there might be something that you are, there might be something that you might be inclined to go towards, but it might be a scam. So just make sure if you are hooking up with pyramid schemes or anything like that, you know, just make sure you do your research thoroughly before you jump on the bandwagon. But normally you guys do that. Anyway, so, all right, one more shuffle and then I'll cut for you, Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see. In your reality, we've got the Eight of Cups. So somebody might be walking away in your reality from an emotional situation that's been a little bit too heavy, a little bit too burdensome. It looks like they're going off to find more fulfilling pastures. And this could be this could be you, Gemini. You could be walking away from something in your physical reality that just isn't that... Um, pleasing to you anymore you oh and then look what we got underneath of it the moon the moon and you've got the moon the um dreaming right there so definitely pay attention to your dreaming there's a lot of water energy around you for some reason gemini um and i feel like this has to do with your emotions so you're definitely moving on you're moving away from something that's no longer fulfilling fulfilling to you this week, maybe because you have a new passion, um, but there is something that your dreams are telling you to walk away from. They are giving you warning signs, okay? In your dreams, you are getting warning signs. So just make sure you're paying attention to your dreams and you're following what your dreams are saying. Write it down and then look it up the next day when you get a dream. Look up the symbols, the symbols that really stuck out to you. All right, so in your so in your mental body, we got the four of pentacles. So yeah, there's something you've been clinging on to. It could be finances, it could be a job, it could be a person, but there's something in your physical reality that you just cannot mentally let go of. 
that you have been clinging on to with your dear life. But I feel like with this week, I feel like that thing you're walking away from. I think you finally had it. You're finally fed up with it. We've got the Knight of Cups in your... Um, in your physical body, okay? So the Knight of Cups, this could be somebody actually coming to you with um, news of, uh, this could be a person coming, coming towards you, a new person, a new lover, or somebody that can give you that emotional support so that you can walk away from what it is that you have been clinging on to and what you need to actually walk away from. As it pertains to health with the Knight of Cups, this is... Um, this is saying, you know, this is all, cups are all about your heart, but the Knight of Cups is somebody that is, um, is stable. So I could, I, I do see some of you maybe getting more in tune with heart health and how to take care of your own heart, maybe changing eating habits for some of you on um, that when it, go, when it deals with your body. But when it's your emotions, it's like you're finally walking away from something that you have been clinging on to mentally. You're finally physically walking away from them because you have somebody coming in to help you out in this situation. Somebody that's going to help you walk away from something that you that you no longer find fulfilling. <laughs> and then we got your card in the soul, Gemini. This is the lovers. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be frank. Some of you are meeting your dream guy or your dream girl. That's what I feel like. I feel like some of you are meeting your dream guy or your dream girl. That's for those who are singles. I don't know how this turned into a love reading. Water is emotions. So, bam. Um, but some of you are meeting your soulmate here this week. Um, and if not this week, it's coming in really, really soon, like really soon. Okay. I feel like, um, the reason why they haven't been able to is because your mind hasn't been able to let go of something that, um, you're afraid to let go of. But I do feel like the, you're working that issue out in your dreams and it's bringing in this soulmate. It's bringing in this person, somebody that you're walking towards. Okay. Wow, Gemini. <laughs> that was a long reading. All right. So let's see what your advice is. What last message they have for you for this week. Okay. Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. Okay. So I feel like this goes with this. What, at, what is it that you're mentally clinging on to? What physical possession or what physical, maybe for some of you who are single, who are attracting in a new, a new soulmate, maybe you have specific mental things in mind of what you want your soulmate to look like, what you want your soulmate to be like. And they're saying, you need to let that go. You need to walk away from those expectations because those expectations are way too high. We have somebody that's perfect for you, but you're putting yourself in a box right now. Um, so you need to actually make sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need to... You need to really talk some sense into yourself because sometimes our soulmates are not what we think they are going to be like. Sometimes they're not even who we are attracted to. All right. So um, that's what I'm getting for those of you who are single. Now, those of you who are in relationships, I do feel like this Whatever it is that you have been clinging on to in your mind or you have been, I feel like this is self-doubt for those of you who are in relationships right now and who are Geminis. This is self-doubt. You're clinging on to some sort of self-doubt or you're letting the money issues get in the way, the money factors get in, in the way. And it's saying that this is going to make a partner of yours want to up and leave. Okay. Um, you need to let go of that in order for this person not to go, okay? There's something that you're holding on to. You're trying to be too controlling of the situation, and it's making the person want to up and leave, okay? Um, but in your physical body, you come off as this emotional, kind, giving person, 
all right? And that's what you need to be. You need to let whatever is in this mental body go, and you need to be more of that Knight of Cups in order for your souls to align right. Okay, Gemini? You're definitely in your power this week. I do see that. Um, but you might need to talk some sense into yourself. Pay attention to your dreams because this is going to help you work it out in the long run. All right. Okay. I don't know how your reading turned into a love reading, but apparently love is on the mind for you Geminis this week. So with that all being said, I hope you liked this video. I hope this resonates with you in some way, shape, or form. Please let me know in the comment section below. Drop it down there. Um, and if you liked it, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you like the way that I read. Um, I wish you all the very best. Happy love making this week because you are, it's all about love for you. <laughs> I will please take care of yourself and each other and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye Gemini. Hi Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the 24th through the 30th. I am Jimmy of August 2020. I am doing something a little bit different. Um, the bottom card is going to be what's going on in your physical reality. And then um, I'm going to pull a mind, body, and soul. And we'll see what's going on here. And then I will pull a card for it right afterward. So your main thing was dreaming. That's what they got. So let's see how this applies to you specifically, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of the 24th through the 30th. Please and thank you. One more shuffle, and then I'll cut. For Aquarius. All right, so Aquarius. I always end up doing that with this back. Aquarius, we've got the Four of Wands. Who had the Four of Wands? I think it was Capricorn in the last reading. So if you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart, or if you have an Aquarius with Capricorn in your chart, or Capricorn with Aquarius in your chart, um, your home and family life is going to be of significance this week. Everything that's going on within the home, within the family. Dreams of coming are coming true. For some of you, this could be marriage. This could be a marriage proposal. For others of you, this could be um, a baby. I, I, am, I am picking up on a baby. So for those of you Aquarians um, who can relate to that, you might be might be a baby coming along um, or some type of marriage, marriage proposal, your dreams coming true, whatever you are wishing for or dreaming for your home and family life to be like, whatever you wish for or want for with your stability, I feel like your dreams are finally coming true. There's harmony and there's peace here. I'm getting really good vibes with the dreams and the four of wands. There's a lot of harmony and peace going on in your family this week and it's because there's some mental clarity coming in, some truth coming in and, and problems getting worked out around what was so heartbreaking before. Okay. All right. So in your mental body, we've got the two of wands. So this is a damned if I do, damned if I don't situation. You might seem like you're in that type of, I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Like what, what way is my soul trying to pull me? It's like you're caught in the middle. Um, a lot of air signs have that problem with indecision. So, um, but definitely, you know, and also for some of you, this is, uh, I want my cake and I want to, can I have my cake? I want to eat it too, or something like that, um, is what I'm getting for some of you within the mental body. It's like you want two things, but you can't have two things. There's one way that you need to go within your physical body. We've got the nine of swords. Who else had this? I think it was Taurus. I'm pretty sure Taurus had this. Um, 
but this is going on in your physical body. So there could be a lot of migraines, some trouble sleeping at night, tossing and turning um, due to physical pains. So I, I am picking up on that. And with the dreaming, um, you could be awoken at night by nightmares. I'm getting nightmares for some of you. There might be something going on that you're avoiding in your mental body and it's taken now it's taking its toll in your physical body and that is the decision that you have to make around the family situation here and then we've got the ten of cups in your soul this is what you want this is what you truly desire is that ten of cups is that happiness that fulfillment that peace that marriage that white picket fence the kids the dog cat whatever that's what you want. That's what's in your soul. That's what you're what you're aiming for. Um, and you're feeling like I, I feel like this week you're feeling like you're not gonna get it. But there is a lot of peace and harmony within your home. The 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 thing that is not peaceful and not harmonious is your own mind and your own thoughts. Okay. And that's taking a toll on your physical health. So you really need to pay attention to your dreams this week because that's going to help you work out that mental blockage and you're going to know what to do to move forward so that you can have the stability and you can have that, that uh, mental clarity to obtain that Ten of Pentacles lifestyle that you want, okay? So let's see what final message or advice they have for you. And they gave you two. They gave you two, Aquarius. So we've got keeping up in the reverse. So when it's in the reverse, when it's in the reverse, this is saying you're overworking yourself. You are working... You're keeping yourself up at night and you're overworking yourself because you're trying to accomplish a certain money goal is what I'm getting for some of you. And you need to take a break. You need to relax. Ah, thank you. You need to relax. You need to dream. You need to have some comfort. Spend some time with family. Don't be all up in your head about trying to make that coin is what I heard. Even though there is no pentacles here. That's what I'm feeling like a lot of you are doing because I'm getting that off of this card. It's like you're overworking yourself and because you're overworking yourself, your mind is going a million miles a minute and you haven't been sleeping well because of that. There is some type of decision that you have to make. Maybe it's between work and home that you are, are trying to make or others. Others, I'm hearing others help the help of others versus the help of your family is what you are struggling with right now. And you're struggling with it in the mental body. And it's like you've been like overworking yourself for other people that you've kind of neglected your home and family. Um, for some of you, it's you kind of neglect, neglected your home and family. For others of you, you feel like you have been neglecting your home and family. You need to take a rest. You need to take a break. For others of you, impossible things, and it's in the reverse. And I feel like the reason why this card is in the reverse right now is because you're overworking yourself. If you try too hard, you don't accomplish your goals. It's when you when you rest and relax after giving it the right amount of effort, that's when your goals come in, okay? And I feel like with this card being reversed, um, yeah, you're just... Both of these cards, to me, just screams overworking. You are overworking yourself right now, and that's why you're having a hard time making decisions. That's why you are keeping yourself up at night. You need to focus more on your home and family and giving your energy in that aspect. Okay, Aquarius? Well, if this resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please let me know in the comment section below. Please give it a like if it does. And if you like the way that I read, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and make sure the bell is wiggling so you get notified when I upload. I upload weekly videos every Sunday um, and some videos during the week too, if I feel like it. But other than that, I hope you all have an amazing week ahead. Please rest and relax. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye Aquarius. Hi Libra. 
Welcome to your weekly reading for August the 24th through the 30th. Um, this will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And, you know, take what resonates, throw out what doesn't. Um, I'm just as curious because I'm a Libra Sun. So, I want to know just as much as you do. <laughs> what's, up? what's going on with this dreaming thing, right? All right, so I'm going to do it a little bit differently. The bottom card is what's going on in your environment. Um, and then the top three cards will be mind, body, soul. And we will put that together, paint a good picture, and then I will give you one last card for advice at the end. Okay, Libra. All right, let's see what's going on for my Libra for August the 24th through the 30th. Libra, Libra, Libra. One more shuffle, and then I'll cut for you. Nope, one more shuffle after that. Sorry. There we go. That feels about right. Alrighty. What do we got for you, Libra? In here. Oh. So there is some type of heartbreak or something of a sad nature that's going on in your environment. Now, it might not be you. It could be somebody around you. Somebody is feeling a little bit down. Somebody has had their heart broken, their hopes. And I, okay. So it's their hopes and dreams. Okay. So somebody didn't get what they wanted this week, Libra. All right. I'm going to be honest. I am not that psychic. That's going to be all rainbows and, you know, unicorn farts and stuff like that. That's not me. Okay. Um, this right here with the happiness and then the, and then the three of hearts, these two were on the bottom. And what this is telling me is that some of you might be feeling like your success, your happiness, um, has been crushed. Like there's no way that you're going to be able to obtain it is what I'm, as what I'm getting. Your dreams are being crushed is what you're feeling like. Um, there's some pain or some heartache around it. Some of you could be overworking. You need to watch your heart. Um, you might have to watch your heart this week for some of you. Um, definitely. But with the dreams here, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that some of you might feel like your dreams aren't coming true or they're not going to happen for you. And that's in your heart space. So, um, that's projecting itself out into the environment. You might want to watch laws of attraction. All right. Cause what you put out there, you get back. All right. Universe can only agree with you. So if you feel like you're never going to be able to obtain your dreams, you're never going to be able to obtain them. So try to get that out of your, out of your heart this week. Okay. We've got the page of wands coming in with your mind. So you're definitely ready. You're definitely ready to, um, to go for your goals. You're ready to work on your goals. You're ready to work on your dreams, your hearts in it, your spirits in it, right? You're ready to bravely make those steps. Mentally, you're ready. Physically, you're nine of wands. So you're in burnout mode. You're working really, really hard. You're working so hard that your body's hurting. There might be some physical um, hurts to your body that you're uh, that you are ignoring. Maybe leg pain, maybe arm pain, maybe migraine headaches because you are an air sign. Um, but whatever the case may be, you are mentally ready to hop on this goal, but your body isn't physically ready to hop on this goal. So you need to work on getting your body physically ready to do it. Your body is in burnout mode right now. So, um, some rest and relaxation, you know, that also can, comes in with dreams. So being lethargic, being unmotivated, don't feel like being unmotivated is not going to help you obtain your goals. Sometimes you need to rest and recharge your body in order to come back at it. Even though you're mentally ready to go back at it, maybe you're physically re not ready to go back at it. 
And then coming in in your soul, we've got the seven of wands. So this is you sticking up for yourself, fighting for yourself, fighting for your dreams, fighting for your goals, wanting to go alone, wanting to do it on your own. Lots of wands energy here. So you're definitely feeling the spirit. You're definitely feeling the passion of what goal it is you're trying to obtain, but you're not going to obtain it this week. Okay. That's what they're saying. In reality, you're not going to obtain it this week. Um, you, what you want to fulfill you is not going to come in this week, but it is a good week to manifest. Really think about it, but take your time on it. All right. Take your time on it. Don't overdo it. Don't overwork yourself. Just like with Aquarius, don't overwork yourself. This dream right here, this is telling me you really, really need to pay attention to your dreams and you really need to get some rest and relaxation because this coming in with the nine of wands, that's telling me that, yes, you need to recharge your batteries. We've got a nine of wands and we've got a nine of cups here. So you're right on that verge. You're just about to hit it but you need to rest. This is like the rest before the storm, okay? And I'm going to take that advice because the last time I didn't take that advice, I my channel went to crap for a long time. So take my advice. When they tell, when universe tells you to take a rest, take a damn rest, all right? Because you're going to need it because you're about to get your goals. You're about to get your wishes. You're about to get your dreams. It's just not going to be this week, okay? All right. change in the night. You have changed quickly. Yeah. So what this is saying with this card for the advice is, and again, night, right? Your dreams. Okay. So whatever it is you're dreaming, you're working out those issues. Okay. You're working out. That's why you have this mental bravery. That's why you have this mental clarity. That's why you have the, the will and the, the drive to get to your goal that you want to get to, but your body's on burnout. So you need to take care of your body. And it seems like more towards maybe the end of the week, you can finally see how your how you can obtain your happiness, how your goal is going to come about. But they're saying this week, just take a rest. Take a rest. There's nothing wrong with taking a rest. Take a rest, Libra. Take a rest. All right. <laughs> well, that's all I have for you. If this resonated with you in any way, shape, or form, please make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know. Hit that like button. Um, subscribe to my channel if you have it and you like my reading style. I post every Sunday, or I am going to be posting every Sunday now. Um, <laughs> the week at the weekly view. All right. Well, Libra, I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye, Libra. Hi, fire signs. How are you? I want to wish um, a happy birthday to all the Leos who have just had birthdays that have passed. Um, yeah, just want to wish you all happy birthdays. All right, so this is going to be a general overview for all the fire signs. So this is the main message for all the fire signs for the week of the August the 24th through August the 30th. So, Spirit, my guides, what do we got for the fire signs? Summer, wild energy of midday. So this is all playful energy. This is your passion. This is your drive. This is going back to that Leo-like energy, okay? Having fun. When you have fun, you can see where your passions lie. And for some of you, this is going to be a week about figuring out what it is that you truly want to do. What is it that you truly want to go for or strive for? Um, and doing it in a way that's more fun and carefree. All right. For some of you, this could be also a romance coming in, a nice fiery summery romance for those of you who are single. Um, and this is definitely, you know, okay. So 
I'm being drawn to the cat chasing the butterfly, okay? Like, the butterfly, like, the cat's like, I'm going to eat you. The butterfly's like, ha, 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 no, you can't. I can fly faster. Maybe when I was a caterpillar, but not now that I'm a butterfly, all right? So that's what I'm, that's the kind of vibe I'm picking up off this card. And it's telling me that, like, now you've got your energy back. Maybe people could hurt you before when you were down the dumps, when you were low. It was very easy to prey on you. But you are in this element this week um fire sign that it's like you are a butterfly it's like nobody can touch you nobody can get you you're too high up there you're not gonna let low vibrational energies prey on you anymore okay this is about having fun this is about opening up this is about coming out of that that state of depression that you might have been in really opening yourself up and letting yourself loose to have some fun that's what you need to do this week. Have some fun. Incorporate play. All right? Okay. So now I'm going to go to the part of the reading where I do each individual signs. Your timestamps are listed below. Hi, Sagittarius. So this will be a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of August the 24th through the 30th. Um, now, these will not resonate with, every, with everyone because they are general. So take what applies and throw out the rest. And I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to take the bottom card of the deck and that's what's going on in your physical environment. And then the top three cards will be your mind, body, and soul. And we will put that all together for a clear and accurate picture. After that, I will get, I will pull a card for you um, of advice or a last message that your spiritual team wants you to know. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for you for the month of, or for the week of the 24th through the 30th of August, 2020. Definitely got some play going on. So let's see what this is about. All right, one more shuffle. And then I'll cut for you, Sash. Nope, one more shuffle. Sorry. I do feel a lot of happy energy around you. So something has made you very, very, very excited and very happy within the past week. For some of you out there. All right, we got the Seven of Pentacles going on in your physical world. So this is your harvest coming in. Some of you might have new money opportunities coming in for you. Some of you might be um, seeing some investments come in, a return of some investments, and I feel celebration because of that. Others of you, this is um, whatever you have invested into physically is now starting to show some reward or reap some reward from it. All right? Yeah, and see, look, you're getting, <laughs> oh my God, at the bottom, the bottom of the deck. I couldn't have called this better, okay? So this is the, about the harvest, about reaping the reward, right? And then we've got the Six of Swords, um, or Six of Wands, which is all about getting recognition, and judgment is finally stepping up and into your calling. So you're definitely feeling the need for celebration this week, Um you're definitely feeling the need for celebration this week. And if I would have kept on going, we would have had the Ten of Swords at the bottom. So that just says you're coming out of those times where you were worried about money or you were worried about your investments. But now, Sagittarius, you're really stepping into your own and you're seeing the benefits of the harvest from it. You're at, you are where you're supposed to be. Um, and you're getting recognized and you're getting notoriety for it. So... Small victory. Yeah, because in your mind, you got money on the mind. Money, 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 money. Um, so in the in the mental mind, it's about, you know, your money coming in. You're worried about what's coming in. It needs to come in, you know. And I feel like you are going to see that it's going to put your mind at ease. In your physical body, we've got the high priestess. So lots of in spirit, um, intuitive hits going on within your body. Pay attention to what's going on within your body as you might feel like it's well balanced now, but there you're there's something about your body your physical body that needs to be paid attention to. Um 
Some of you could be getting psychic downloads through your physical body. You're channeling through your physical body for some of you, and that's helping you bring in the money. Knowing, just knowing, channeling, knowing what to do next. Drink a lot of water is what I'm hearing. So you need to drink more water, Sagittarius. Drink more water and eat more fish is what I heard for you. Okay. And then as soon as I say that, okay, what do we get for the uh, spirit? We've got the king of cups. So you are in an emotionally stable place right now. Your soul is like on point. You are on your path. You're on your correct path. Um, it's time for celebration. The king of cups loves to celebrate, loves to celebrate his victories. Okay. He's a lover, you know, he's very good at that. Um, and I do see that you're gaining more control over your emotions and it's coming from, it's coming from an outside source, like your, um, your spiritual team, like you're really paying attention to how your body is reacting to certain things and how you are reacting to certain people. There could be a Scorpio in your life. Um, that is a big significance. There also could be a younger earth sign in your life that's of, of significance or a Libra, a Libra or a uh, Virgo that's in your life. I get Virgo with that. I get Libra Virgo vibes with that for some reason, but definitely I feel like Libra Scorpio and some type of earth sign that's in your life right now. That's really helping you out. So <laughs> pay attention to that as well. All right. So let's see what your advice is, Sag. Let's see what the advice is for Sagittarius. What last message do we have for the week? Oh, Ooh, you got two. Okay, so you have follow the right the white rabbit. So there's going to be some um, intuitive hits coming to you, like I said, with this high priestess, some intuitive hits coming into your reality, okay? And um, they're going to come in the form of curiosity. So you are being asked to follow that curiosity, and it will lead you to more abundance within your harvest, okay? There might be something that, and that's why right here we're, we're getting on the summer energy of play. So I feel like this is a hobby or something, a new hobby. You're getting into some type of new hobby that is very fun for you, um, something that you've been curious about, and it's like now it's like you can make money off of that. You can see how you can make money off of that. And then we got, we're all mad here. Everyone's a little different. So yeah, this is you embracing your uniqueness, you embracing that side of you that is unique, that is a little off, that is a little goofy. You're Sagittarius, you're jolly, you're happy, you're charismatic, you're witty. You love to travel, okay? You have a lot of passion within you. So some will say that sometimes Sagittarius's are a little bit of a horse of a different color, but you are very psychic, okay? And following whatever you are now curious about, whatever passion that you think you might be curious about, following that is going to lead to great success for you. Just make sure you're having fun with it. Make sure you're having fun this week. Okay, Sagittarius? And you're reaping some rewards, so that's good. <laughs> Well, if this resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please make sure that you let drop a comment below and let me know. I like to see how these energies play out for you as the week goes along. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I hope you all have an amazing week, Sagittarius. Until next week, please take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye, Sagittarius. Hi, all my Leo friends out there. How are you? <laughs> all right. So this will be a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this will go for the week of August the 24th to August the 30th. For all my lions out there, my Leo lions. Um, I'm going about this a little differently. The bottom of the deck is what's going on in your physical world. And then I'm going to pull 
card for mind, body, and soul. And then I'm going to put it all together and then we see what messages come through. And then I will give you pull a card, final card for advice. All right. So let's see what's going on with this summer. The wild energy of the midday that you guys got for the overall. We will see what this is about for you, Leo. What is the most needed message here with that? Please and thank you, my guides. One more shuffle, and then I'll cut. All right. Cut the deck for Leo. All right. Bottom of the deck is, oh my God, Leo. I could not have predicted that any better. It's the sun. It's the sun. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the sun. That's your card in the in the standard tarot. That is your card, Leo. So you are definitely feeling within your element this week. Lots of play. You are emotionally balanced. You feel very happy. You're not a want for anything this week, Leo. There's a lot of people around you that are bringing joy to you. It also could be another Leo person. Um... But definitely happy, like, summer-like vibes, summer-like energy. You're really feeling in your element. Nothing can hurt you. Like I said, you've got the wild energy of summer right here, right? Nothing can touch you. Nothing can hurt you. You are, okay, I just heard, you are, you are that, that lion going after your transformation, going after your goals, going after your needs, Okay. So that's how that card's playing out for you. I really feel like you are really, you're in your zone. You're in your element. You know, we're just coming off of Leo season, but you're still in your zone. You're still in your element. You're still shining bright. In your, <laughs> in your, um, in your mental, we've got the star. So you've got the sun and you've got the star and the sun is a star. So you're definitely, um, coming. It's like the stars are aligning for you this week. And it's like, you're coming into your element and you're getting what you dream of, what you wish for, what you've put yourself poured all yourself into. All right. So you're definitely, your mind is in a good space. Your go, your mind is going for your dreams. Your mind is reaching for your dreams and you're feeling confident and you're feeling bright <laughs> in your physical body. We've got the queen of swords. So for some of you, I feel like this is taking up a new health routine, really watching your health, watching your weight, watching what you put into your body, cutting out all the junk food, cutting out what, cutting out what you know is bad for your body. Some of you might, could be, um, cutting free from toxic people, um, people that make you stressed out that you can in turn see how it affects you physically. Um, for others of you out there, this could be cutting out a habit that you know isn't right for your body. So definitely, definitely, you are in this health. You are, I don't know how to describe it. You are feeling vital. You are feeling like vivacious, alive, free. Like you can do anything. You can reach for those goals. You can reach for the stars. And you're really, really paying attention to how your temple, your vessel is um, getting you to those dreams and those goals. You're really, your health is coming up a lot here. Even though it's the queen of swords, I feel like it's you cutting, cutting out toxic habits or toxic foods that are bringing your body down. And it also could be cutting out people that are bringing you down. Now what's going on in your spirit is we've got the five of cups. So something you are walking, now the Five of Cups in this death speaks up to me with different energy. She's walking away from that, what, from what has depressed her in the past, what has brought her down. She's coming out of that morning, that morning energy. So if you were sad, if your soul was sad, 
in the past, maybe before your birthday or maybe up until recent, if you're if you have been in that sadness in your soul, you are finally moving past that. You're getting free of that. You are in your element, okay? Use that happy energy of Leo. You know, go out, have fun, reach for your goals, reach for your dreams, remember your goals and your dreams, okay, keep that in your mental body and have fun with it and pay attention to your health and this, this sadness will eventually be gone and I feel like it's going to be gone by the end of the week, so, all right, so let's get one final message of clarity for my lions out there, my Lib my Leo. So I almost called you Libra. Libra might be significant for you. We've got choices, feeling blocked and restrained. Okay, so for some of you, what I feel like this is saying is whatever choice, and this goes down to this, cutting out what you need to cut out in order to make yourself more healthier so that you can obtain your goals, right? And so then that way you can cut out the sadness, whatever it was that made you sad, um, or whoever it was that made you sad, okay? This is Libra-like energy. We've got Libra and Leo energy here. So using, utilizing both of those, and we got an Aquarius too, right here with the star. So use, so utilizing those three energies can help you push forward, push past whatever it is that has you blocked, okay? There's some choice that you're going to have to make, and like I said, it's a choice to make you happier, to bring you up out of the sadness, okay? Whether that's a toxic person, whether that's toxic food, whether that's a toxic habit, whether that's something that you're doing toxic that's wrong to your body, you're going to have to make a choice to cut it out. And that's going to make you more happier. That's going to make you feel more vital. All right. And more vivacious, more alive. All right, Leo. Well, that's all I have for you. If this video resonated with you in any way, shape or form, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button. If you like the way that I read and I hope you all have an amazing week. Please drop a comment. Let me know how this resonates, how this energy plays out for you. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, take care of yourself and each other. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye, Leo. Hi, all my lovely Aries out there. Welcome to your weekly reading. This will be for the week of the 24th through the 30th. Um, these are general, so they will not resonate with everyone. <laughs> uh, please if, take what, you know, resonates and throw out what doesn't, you know, kick out the rest. Um, I'm doing these a little different. The bottom card will be what's going on in your environment. And then the top three cards will be mind, body, and soul. I will put them together, come out with a clear picture, and then give you a cool card for advice. Um, this is going to go along with the reading I did for all the fire signs at the beginning of this segment. Um, if you haven't watched that, I suggest you pause the video and go watch the main overall for the fire signs. Alrighty, so we're going to see what this summer-like energy, um, this playful energy is doing for you for this week, Aries. Because you need to play, <laughs> apparently. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on with my Aries? Please and thank you for the week of the 24th through the 30th. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. Alright, so the bottom of the deck, what's going on in your environment was the Page of Swords. Oh, okay, so you've been waiting on something to come in, some type of message or some type of letter, some type of news, and it's coming in this week. It's coming in this week. This could be a younger air sign that brings it, or a younger air sign is involved this week with you um you know i say air sign libra gemini aquarius um 
but definitely some type of news being brought in. Pages are messengers, so they bring in, they bring news of clarity. So something you've been waiting for for a while, because underneath, right, the next card, right underneath the bottom, is the three of is the three of wands so this is something you've been waiting on for a while this is something that's going to get you excited when it comes in and um this is why you are in the energy of play of celebration of having fun of letting go you know cutting back letting go cutting loose is what i'm picking up on We've got the seven of pentacles. So yeah, you have been over analyzing and overthinking everything that has come in for you, everything that um, you have in your environment. You might be over analyzing your finances and that's got you all up in your head. You might not be able to see a way out for some of you, for others of you. It's just like you've got so much on your plate right now. You've planted so many seeds that you've got a lot to take care of, a lot of responsibility, and it's like you're looking at all this and you don't know how to get out of it, but there is going to be a message coming in that's going to help you out with that, and it's going to put you in a more lighter mood. In your body, we've got the Knight of Cups, so there's somebody that is definitely on your side here that's giving you emotional support, that's helping you, um, maybe somebody that comes in and helps you with your own health as well, I'm picking up on, could be a younger water sign. Um, now, when I say younger, it could be younger than 30 is what I'm saying, is what I'm getting at. Um, but, you know, it could be a child. The child's more like page-like energy, though. This is night. So I'm getting more of like somebody under 30 um, coming in to help give emotional support. Or they act like somebody who is under 30. Um, this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But anyway, they are definitely lending you some emotional support. With the Knight of Cups in the terms of your body, um, I would say not to overindulge in drinking or overindulge in any type of... Um, any type of activity where it's like you use that to escape your emotional feelings. So don't overindulge in something like that. I mean, it's fun to cut back and have a few drinks here and there, but don't overindulge. Don't take it too far. Um, I do feel like your emotional body is well steady, okay? We have... <laughs> in your spirit, the magician. So you are working on things. You are manifesting things this week, Aries. You are manifest, full manifestation mode in your spirit. Your spirit wants to manifest something and it's getting ready to manifest something very soon. So whatever you've been worried about, whatever you have been wondering about, there is going to be some news on it this week. And, um, it's probably, it's going to give you cause for celebration is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing don't overindulge in harmless activities is what I'm hearing. And I'm also, I'm sorry, my dog. Um, and I'm also seeing a manifestation come in for you. So that is amazing, Aries. So let's see what other messages they would like to pass on for you, Aries. What other messages do we have for Aries for the week of the 24? We've got nonsense. It's time to talk sense. So with this and with the the page of swords right there, what I'm feeling like is somebody's going to come in and try to help you out of a certain financial situation for some of you. It might be a financial situation um, for others of you. It could be an emotional situation, but somebody's going to come in and this is they're delivering the news that you've been needing to hear. Okay, and they are going to help you make sense of it all. And then once they do, it's like your manifestation is in the progress of coming out and it's time for celebration. Okay, now this could take place within the next two weeks, but it definitely starts this week. Okay, because I don't see it coming that fast. If you're if you have been waiting for this information to come in, if you've been upset and like in turmoil about it, you know, and you need to make sense of it all, something's going to come in, a message that is going to come in that's going to make sense and is going to help you make sense of the situation, okay? And sometimes that takes a minute. 
um, and it also takes us a minute to adjust to it. But I definitely do see cause of celebration here and you about to manifest something. Okay, Aries? So that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonates in any way, shape, or form, please make sure you hit that like. Drop a comment below. Let me know how these energies play out for you. And if you love the way that I read or you like the way that I read, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload. I upload every Sunday. Thank you so much for stopping by and please take care of yourself and take care of each other. And until the next video, bye Aries. Finally, we are on to my beautiful water signs. My beautiful water signs. Okay, so this will go for the week of the 24th through the 30th. This is a general for the water signs. I am going to just give a one card reading for the water signs and then we are going to go into what that one card means for each astrological sign. So um, make sure you get this message first and then go below to your sign. Okay. So water sign. What's up for the water signs for this week? Oh, there's two. There's two. They give me two. All right, empowering. So some of you, this is going to be a week where you are fully embodying yourself. You are empowered. If you have any Leo in your chart, I would suggest going and watch the Leo reading because that was an empowering reading. So definitely I'm getting Leo-like vibes here, all right? But <laughs> you're water, okay? Leo's not water, but... You know, this is an empowering time for you. And a Leo friend, a Leo could be of some significance for you um, this this time. Or a fire sign could be of some significance. Definitely a week to get things done. You feel in your element. You feel in your zone. Taking ass and taking names. Okay. And then we've got fall. The quiet joy of transition. Okay, so with both of these coming out together, what I'm getting for you, water sign, whatever you are empowered to do, whatever you are prompted to do this week, water sign, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Because in the fall, there's going to be some type of manifestation that's going to come in that you really, really, really desire or really, really, really want, okay? You're going to transition into something. This is just the part, just the part of your transition. This week starts the part of your new transition. And by fall, you will see it come in to full transition. All right, so now I'm going to go to the part where I read each individual sign. Please excuse my dog. Um, I can't let her out right now because the neighbor's dogs are taking up the yard. And they, well, they have um, a privacy fence, but our dogs like to go at it underneath the privacy fence. So I can't really let her out right now. And she just, she's one of those small dogs. She likes to... Um, start trouble so she really wants to go out there because she knows they're out there right now so please 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 ignore the dog barks all right <laughs> we're gonna get into the signs now below hi my Pisces friends how are you doing hope you all are well all right so we're gonna see what's going on for you for this week of August the 24th through the 30th. Now this will go for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. Um, but also, I mean, take what resonates. If this doesn't resonate with you, pick it out. I am doing something a little different. I'm going to take the bottom of the deck after I shuffle, and that is what's going on in your environment around you. And then the first three cards will be mind, body, and soul. And um, with those, I will come out with a clear and accurate reading, and then I will give you a final card for advice. Now, this reading will go along with what I said for the water signs, okay? So something we want to see what this is about, the empowering and the 
fall-like energy for the Pisces for August the 24th through the 30th. What's going on for Pisces? What's the main message here with this message? One more shuffle, and then I'll cut the new oh, Maybe two. <laughs> okay. All right, so what do we got here? We have the Hermit. So this is a time, Pisces, where you're thinking about yourself. What's going on is you might be feeling kind of lonely. There might not be a lot of people around you right now. There might not be, you might find a lot that you are alone this week. You're just sticking to yourself. And I feel like the reason why you're doing that, yeah, okay. So there is some, you're trying to gain control of some situation. It could be an Aries and a Virgo that you're dealing with, but you're trying to gain control of some situation. There could be an Aries or a Virgo in your environment that's trying to cause control or try to control some certain situation. It, it feels like the situation is out of your control when really you're being empowered by this, okay? That's what they're saying. Ah, thank you, Spirit. So you're you're being empowered by this. Whatever, don't feel like you are left out. Don't feel like you have no control because really going to your going by yourself, going within yourself, going away from the situation is helping you get back in control. It's empowering you. And then by fall, you will see the major transformation that has happened. And I do want to apologize for my dogs. Um, yeah, hold on a second. They never bark, but then they start barking when I put the camera on. And I really can't let her outside right now because the neighbor's dogs are out. So I'm sorry. All right. So we've got the eight of pentacles in your mental body. So you're definitely going to work. You're doing what you can. You're thinking about what you need to do, what you need to learn, how you need to move forward. You're making plans. You're making decisions. Um, with this hermit like energy and this emperor energy, it's like you're taking back control of your situation. But in order to do that, you're going um, behind the scenes. You're, go you're keeping to yourself. You're keeping your plans plans to yourself is what I hear. For some of you, you're keeping your plans to yourself. You're not letting other people's people know. In your physical body, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is all revolves around your financial status. I'm getting pentacles everywhere and earth energy everywhere. So you are definitely working on something. You have been working on something for a while and you're not going to reveal it just yet. Um, this is something that's going to empower you. There also could be a Virgo. I'm really getting heavy Virgo vibes here. And what's funny is, is that Pisces Virgo is on the opposite side of the wheel from you. And they are, um, they're very, they're planners, they're organizers. This could be saying that a Virgo is going to come in and help you gain control of your own financial situation or help you um, plan out things within your financial situation. Okay. They're going to help you. It's going to make you feel empowered. So then by fall, your finances will be all right. Okay. There's something that you're doing this week that's going to help out your financial situation. Also, um, <laughs> when it comes to the body, it's saying, you know, don't spend, don't overindulge, don't spend too much, okay? Because Pisces, you can overindulge sometimes, you know? <laughs> you can escape into that shopaholic thing or whatever. Or, you know, you have that escapism thing. So, you know, don't overindulge. This could be somebody coming in to help you out with your finances or somebody coming in to help you help you plan for your finances. And I am picking up lots of Virgo vibe here. Then we've got temperance. So this is Sagittarius vibe, but the temperance, um, 
you know, that is all about putting your heart and soul into something. And this comes in with the mind, body, and soul. So you really have been working your butt off, have been putting your, your mind, heart, body, soul, your everything into this, okay? Whatever you've been investing in, whether it's physical or, or whether it is, you know, like, um, money wise, whatever you've been investing in, you've been keeping quiet about because you don't want people to know it's, and this is going to be very empowering for you. Sorry. I am I'm on the floor. All right. So yeah, this is good for you. Oh my God, Pisces, you are definitely making steps in your finances this week that's going to empower you and make you more abundant and lucrative in the fall. Okay, so this is about finances for you. Don't know how that happened, but um, look to a Virgo or an Aries to help you in that in that aspect. Maybe a Sagittarius. Well, not Sagittarius. They're kind of free with their money. Um, <laughs> but you're definitely planning something here, and you're definitely working on it, and it's going to make you feel more better or more better. It's going to make you feel better about your future. Okay. Whatever you're doing this week, you have an opportunity to make your future better an investment and it makes you empowered. Um, I would take the advice of a Virgo. I would take the advice of a Virgo. All right. So let's see what final message we have for you. <laughs> What was I saying about overindulgence? All right. What was I saying about overindulgence? Make sure you're not spending too much. Okay. Do not drink the poison is the advice that you got. Save your money. Don't spend your money. Okay. Plan it out right. If a bunch of people are going to go out and have fun and spend a whole ton of money, don't drink, don't get on their bandwagon. Don't go drinking their poison and spending just as much. Okay. Um, this, when this card comes out, it says you have to be careful because if you, if you, um, buy into what others are saying or buy into what others are believing, then you have a chance of, of hurting yourself. All right. And that is depowering. You want to empower. So I would take the advice of a Virgo, but I wouldn't go spending or drinking the poison from somebody else. If that makes any sense. Mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So this goes along with the empowering, okay? It's saying that you only get one life, okay? Enjoy your life while you can, all right? And I feel like you're, right now, you are taking, you know, Pentacles is also health, so this also could, get, could go health-wise. Um, Virgo rules the sixth house of health, so um, it might not just be financial matters that you are indulging in this week. It could be you are getting your new health and workout routine. You are working hard on your health. You are getting, you are doing what you can to make yourself healthier. And this is why we got both of these. Okay, don't drink the, the poison and the mortality. This is saying that right now, this week is the perfect week to get on board with getting your health in order, with getting your health straight, drinking the right things, eating the right things. Watch what you put into your body is what I'm picking up for some of you. This is going to be so empowering. And by the end, by fall, you will notice those physical changes with inside yourself, okay? You will notice that within your own body. And I do feel like maybe a Virgo or an Aries really step up to the plate and help you out with your diet, with your health, with your exercise, with what you do. Because Pisces, you do tend, and this is the bad, every, every sign has their bad, their good and bad parts, okay? But Pisces, your flaw, I mean, every sign has their flaw, but your flaw, Pisces, is an escapism, going too much into unhealthy habits to escape what's going on in your reality. So right now, it looks like you are forming healthier habits, and they're saying don't go back to what you were 
don't go back to what you were doing, whether that was eating a ton of food or whether that was drinking a ton or whether that was doing a ton of drugs. Don't go back to that. Work on your health. Your health is so important right now. All right? Well, Pisces, if this resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please drop a comment below. Let me know how these energies play out for you for this week. Please take care of your body. Please take care of yourself. If you like this video, give it a like. If you like the way I read, please hit that thumbs up um, or hit that subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye, Pisces. Hi, Scorpio, all my Scorpio friends out there. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm a Scorpio rising, so I just love y'all. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get into this, and we're going to see what this empowering um, and, you know, what's empowering you, what's really giving you that drive, um, and what, you know, what's manifesting this fall for you. I, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to shuffle these cards, cut them, and then the bottom of the deck will be what's going on in your physical environment for this week. And then I will pull top three cards will be mind, body, and soul. I will relate that to the message for the water signs, come up with what I get, and then I will give you additional advice. Okay. So let's see what's up with my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter for the week of the 24th through the 30th. Please and thank you. I'm just as curious as you guys are because I'm rising. So <laughs> let's see. One more shuffle, and then I'll cut for my Scorpios. Oh, maybe not. Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Sometimes you guys are just like the hardest to pull cards for. i got to really dig deep with you guys. Like, seriously. You haven't told me to stop shuffling yet. All right, one more shuffle. Here we go. What we got here? Oh, nine of pentacles. So this is all about your own independence. You're working very hard. Some of you are feeling independent. You're feeling empowered. You're feeling good with what you can do, with what money you can make, with what you can bring to the table. Um, definitely um, could be some money coming in for you too to help you out of that burden that you have been carrying um, because you've been clinging on to it too hard. And I feel like now you can finally see how you can gain your independence back. You are gaining your independence back this week. That is number one in your environment. Definitely doing things on your own, and it's very empowering for you. For some of you, I feel like I see you out in a garden somewhere. I don't know why, but something about gardening, something about herbal, herbal oil, gardening and herbal oils. I don't know, something about that, gardening and herbal oils, um, but I am picking that up on the card. But I definitely, what I'm picking up for you is you are having this sense of independence, the sense of I can do this, the sense of um, I can see how I can make myself that independent person. And it makes you very feel very empowered, all right? And you will have, you will see the fruits of your labor come in by the fall time. The fall time is when you can see your manifestations coming to life. It's going to definitely be a quiet, kind of like you're just sliding under the radar and then boom, you're transformed. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on in your mental body. We've got the nine of wands. So yeah, you're definitely feeling burdened 
by things of the past, by what you got around you, what you have going on around you. Um, it's starting to wear you down a little bit and it's starting to, but it's wearing down your mental mind. All right. Um, and it's wearing, and it's wearing down your spirit as well. You're definitely feeling burnt out by something, but there is, this is meant to empower you to be better, to do better, to move on to become that independent person. What's going on in your physical body is the six of wands. So you are getting recognition. People are might be seeing, saying, oh, wow, look at that Scorpio. They're beautiful. Or have you heard this Scorpio did this? Or this is cool. This Scorpio did that. You are gaining recognition. You are gaining victory in some aspect of your life where you felt burdened. You know, that you have two nines here and two nines talk about that last step right before happiness, right before fulfillment. And with this, I feel like with the nine of pentacles, it's your financial fulfillment as well as your spiritual fulfillment. So your passions tie in with your finances, if that makes any um, sense, and you're getting recognition for it. You're finally being recognized. There's finally a victory here for you at some point this week. Could be a promotion, could be a job promotion as well. Then we've got five of pentacles in your soul body. And what this is telling me about, it's telling me that you have felt lonely, you have felt left out, you have felt unappreciated, unrecognized, un, you know, like people are not grateful for the time and the effort that you give them. That's what I'm getting. And that is why you have had, you have been in this nine of wands energy. It's because you feel like you're unappreciated. You feel like you're not recognized, but it looks like you are going to be getting that this week. And it's like, bam, now you feel empowered. You feel independent. It's like something comes in and just goes bam and wakes you up out of that. Hey, I'm not alone, okay? I wasn't left behind, okay? The only way I was left behind is because I was left behind in my own mind, is what I'm getting. So you're getting that recognition, all right? You're not feeling so left out anymore, and you're actually seeing how you can be independent. You're gaining your independence back, which is very empowering. And this is going to help you if you keep in that energy. This is going to help you manifest all throughout up until the fall when you can see your manifestations and your coin coming in. So that's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. Ooh, I love that. All right, so let's see what final message or bits of advice we have for Scorpio. All right, so you got two. We've got clock time, time pressure in a rush. So some of you um, might be feeling like you need to get this done now. You need to get, you need to get going now. You need to do what you need to do in order to gain that recognition. And you're feeling the pressure. You feel like you have to put it out there. There is a lot of wands energy here. So this has to go along with your passion. And there is, you know, the pentacles, there's pentacles here. There's wands and pentacles like equal. So it, your passion also has a financial tie or a bodily tie, all right? And you're feeling in a rush to get whatever it is done that you need to get done so that you can feel that sense of empowerment, so you can feel that accomplishment, so you can gain that recognition, so you can get that independence that you need. And then we have all must have prizes flipped upside down. So yeah, you are in a spot now where maybe as before, before you cared about everybody and what they were going through and you were always there for them and you were always their shoulder to cry on, you were always there for them, but then when push came to shove, they weren't there for you. They weren't there for you. You felt left out in the cold, okay? They weren't there for you. You were feeling really freaking lonely and messed up. So, now you're at that point, it's like, no, I'm not giving you any more of my time. I'm not giving you any more of my energy. I'm going to put my own energy and my own time into something that I need for myself. 
something that I need to gain my independence. You're not letting people bull, bull you over or pull you down or manipulate you anymore. You are doing what you need to do for yourself in order to gain your own independence. This is a very empowering time, and this week is going to be very important for you, Scorpio. So make sure you are taking good care of your health. Make sure you're taking lots of meditation. You might need some meditation. Um, I'm not saying that this is going to be an easy, fun time. I'm not saying that this is going to be a hard time, but you are more focused on yourself this week and so that you can gain that, that recognition and that notoriety and that clarity. Okay. And this is about you. So screw everyone else. That's what I say. That's what I say. Do you empower you so that way you can have your manifestations in the fall? Well, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know how these energies play out for you for this week. Um, I'm very, very curious to see how they do because I think I kind of know how they're going to play out for me. Um, but I'm, I'm curious to see how they play out for you. Alrighty, <laughs> with that all being said, if you like the way that I read, please give this video a like. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you like the way that I read. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye, Scorpio. Hi, all my Cancer friends. How are you? I hope your day is going very well. Alrighty, so we're going to hop into this reading right away, <laughs> very quickly. Um, if you have not uh, saw the over or seen the overall for the water signs, I suggest you check the timestamp below because this is a continuation of that reading. Alrighty, so we are going to see what's going on with you for the week of August the 24th through the 30th. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm switching it up a little bit here. I am going to take shuffle, cut, and then take the bottom card. That'll be what's going on in your environment, your overall environment. And then the top three cards will be mind, body, and soul. I'll see how that relates to the overall message for the water signs. And then I will pull you a card of advice. All right. So let's get into it, Cancer. Let's see what you've got going for August 24th through the 30th. This will be for Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. <clears throat> for the 24th through the 30th. Please and thank you, my guides. Sorry, my kid just walked in. Okay, cancer one more shuffle and then I'll cut. Mm, one more. Okay, cancer. Let's see what's up for you for this week. <clears throat> Sorry, for some reason it took forever. Alright, so what's going on in your environment? All right. Yeah, you're feeling it. You're feeling it, Cancer. Um, there's a lot of heavy burden on you right now. Um, you're, you might be the sole proprietor of everything right now, and it makes, and you're carrying the weight and the load for everybody else. And this it does not make you feel very empowered. This actually probably makes you feel um, taken advantage of. I've got to say, uh, you need to, yeah. And you know, cancers, you guys are so nurturing and you're so giving and you're so loving. And this is how you end up. That's how you end up here. Okay. You are so kind. And I feel like that's why you're feeling burdened right now because you really haven't been taking, um, much care 
of your own self. Now, in your mental space, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're thinking about your coin. You're thinking about how you can make a successful marriage, a successful home, successful, you know, just happiness, the whole caboodle, okay? And that's what you're thinking about in your head. Maybe in your head you see that you're happy and everything is okay everything's all good and everything's okay but in your physical reality people take advantage of you people put too much on you and there's going to be a lot of people that are putting a lot on you this week but in your own mind it makes you feel like you're successful when they do that so how that works and we've got the queen of swords in your physical body so this means cutting out um toxic people now there could be a libra involved um in this but it could what this is telling me is cutting out the toxic like the queen of swords she knows who's toxic and who's not she knows bs when she sees it okay and she cuts right through it so i do feel like within your physical body or like within your body your own person you are not going to put up with anything that comes along <laughs> that, um, oh, okay, no, never mind, I'm sorry. They're telling you, you need to embrace, embrace this energy. You need to stick up for yourself. You need to stick up for yourself, Cancer. Because you're, you, you think that this is making you happy. You think that this is all good. When really, it's putting a big burden on you, a big burden on your body as well. You, If something is too much for you to handle, if you are tired and somebody wants you to do the, this, that, and the other, and they haven't done anything for you, you're going to call them out on their bullshit. That's what you need to do. Because in order to take care of others, you have to take care of yourself. And I'm feeling like others are burdening you. And I feel like this week, you finally do speak up. You finally do speak your truth um, about how, you know, you do everything to make everybody else happy. But you want this. So you need to speak your truth about that. And I feel like you find that very, very empowering. Very empower empowering. If you have Leo in your chart anywhere, I would definitely suggest you go watch the Leo reading. All right, and then we've got the Four of Swords in your soul. So yeah, you're tired. You're tired of people putting you through the ringer. You're tired of people burdening you. Even though it makes you happy, this, it, it really does make you happy to take care of others, to take care of the needs of others. But your soul is tired. Your soul is tired of doing that all and not having anybody do it back for you, okay? That's what your soul is tired of. And I feel like you're finally speaking your truth um, this week, and that's what's going to empower you. That's what's going to make things change. You know, fall brings it has that era of change and transition. So let's get a... Um, bit of advice for you cancer we have managed to be glad create your own happiness regardless of conditions and I feel like this is what you have been doing I feel like you've just been trucking along trying to create your happiness that's what you want in your mind but you're not seeing where people are taking advantage and it's taking a toll on your soul. Okay. So you need to acknowledge those who are, um, who are not giving to your own happiness. You need to acknowledge those who take from you. I kind of want to get another card of advice for you. I feel like one card wasn't enough. And then we've got don't drink the poison in reverse. So with this and the manage to be glad, I feel like you are drinking in the poison. You are taking what they are saying and you are trying to make them happy. You're drinking in their negativity. 
to try to make them happy. If that makes any sense, you need to cut that out because that's not going to empower you. That's only going to disempower you. Okay, so you need to take control of the situation now. Speak your truth. Become empowered. Say, I love to care about you. I love that. I, I love to nurture. I love to help you people out. But I need to have somebody help me out sometimes. Okay, and I feel like you're going to be able to see who it is that is burdening you, who it is that is taking advantage of you, because your soul is tired. It needs a rest right now, Cancer. It is tired. It needs to be taken care of, all right? You need to be taken care of. You've been taking care of people for so long, you know, and you've been managing to just get by, to just be glad, to just show you're happy. When inside, you're really drinking in their poison and you, you don't, you want this mentally, but inside it's like you're tired. You don't have that. It's like, you know, and it's because people are draining you. People are taking too much from you. So you, this week, you really need to speak your truth. You really need to cut out those who take advantage of you over and over again. Those who don't contribute to your own happiness. Those who don't contribute to your mental health. Okay? Well, Cancer, that's all I've got for you. If you liked this video, if it resonated with you in any way, please give it a like. Please drop a comment below. Let me know how it does resonate with you. I am very, very curious to see how these energies play out for the week. Um, with that all being said, if you like the way that I read, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Blah! And make sure the, the bell's on because I do upload weekly videos every week. Um, <laughs> well, until then, please take care of yourself and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, Cancer.